Good morning, beautiful. Oh, my leg. Yo, so, good afternoon, good morning, good night, wherever you are, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, I am currently sat in the back of my car. One. Can I get out the bag, two. So, you're probably wondering why you are on my channel, sat in my car with me, with no top on. Well, I'm about to clear that up for you. So, I was sat inside, woke up, had some breakfast, went and got myself a nice KFC, and I thought, you know what, today... Today is a perfect day for me and you to watch some YouTube videos together. Let's take a walk inside. Uh, do you know how hard this is to get out of with a million stuff? Uh, goodbye, beautiful. Da -da -da. Sounds satisfying. No oh my god, Freddy's toys. Let's find out who the real subscribers are. So, wait, let me turn the TV off. Bah! What? There we go. Let's find out who the real subscribers are. Who can remember the last video I s filmed right here speaking? Wait, not the last one. One of them. There's a specific one I'm talking about, and I had Sean Kerry with me. Let's see who the real subscribers are. Back in a second. Oh my god, Tyson, what are you doing? Uno momento. Oh, I forgot the bean bag. Need to get myself propped up ready for this one. <sighs> so, like I said, today we are going to be taking a little look around social media and see what's been going on. Aye, aye. Stand on my laptop and me and you are going to have a fight. Oi! <laughs> Get away, pug. Let's have a little take a look down my DM and see what's going on. See who's been saying what. You know, just, just the usual. Oh, what? Message from... Scooter Brad? Scooter Brad. What? What? Uh, the way... I just... The way you post yourself, flexing like you're God's gift, like chill, it's super vain. You're trying to look sexy in front of your Scooter Kid audience. <laughs> Me, I'm just memeing myself, cause I don't give a f**k. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, brrr. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, okay, Mr. Brad, Mr. Bradley. How's this for you? I've got a t-shirt on. Is that better? Right, now let's get into the video. Whew. Well, I mean, since he's messaged me like that, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should go check Scooter Brad's YouTube. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should do that. Scooter Brad. Wait, what? 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 How to get three titanium bars in 2019? I'm, I'm sure that's me. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure that's me. Hold on. Leo Spencer caught. Thief? Oh yeah, that's right. How could I forget? Scooter Brad tried to call me a thief. Let's get into the video. Leo Spencer. Brad. Leo. Scooter Brad. Leo Dispensio. Um, no, no. Wait. Social media and cuddle your cat. Huh? Ah. <laughs> uh, this guy is so annoying. The reason I made the cat comment is because he posted a video of crying with his cat. So last week I reported on a certain news topic on a certain scooter rider by the name Leo Spencer. Who that would be me. Can't be asked violating me. Oh my god! Oh. oh my god! This is Mr. Bradley who doesn't post things unless they are posted publicly. Okay? Okay, that's that's Brad. He's not only a liar, but he's a liar, alright? I, I gotta say. And the reason I said that is because he was sending me paragraph after paragraph after paragraph. But anyways, let's move along. I just don't feel the same way. See, normally I like a challenge and, you know, like, going at someone who's not exactly a YouTuber is kind of just like... Oh, what's this? I'm back on YouTube? <laughs> So long story short, a shop called Snail Scoots uh, right. publicly accused Leo Spencer of taking advantage of them. I'm gonna let him speak, get his point across, and then we'll have a little chat. 
report his story rants in retaliation to the claims. So I know I said this before, but I promise that this is the last time I speak on this matter. But since Scooter Brad's decided to make a video on it... Now, for the sake of clarification, I'm just going to say that the video wasn't about that. That was one very brief topic amongst many. Basically... Yeah, but in a sense, you made a video of me taking the bars off of them. It was in the video, okay? So he made a video. Point. Point. Point finished, okay? Call me out in a title. I feel like it's relevant. Wait, did he just say relevant? Now hang on. Let me just... Let me just back... Let me just rewind. Ha! 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 You're listening. And he said... Let me just... I'm gonna play it one more time. But since Scooter Brad's decided to make a video on it, call me out in a title, I feel like it's relevant. Um... Hang on. Let me find it. Let me find it. Um, imagine having to repost the same thing as a YouTube video on your Instagram. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Yeah, see, I, I thought... Oh my god. You, you are irrelevant. That's, that's period. That's done. You, you're only ever irrelevant when, I mean, you're only ever relevant when people are wondering who you're arguing with, so... That's that. That's out the way. This topic is completely irrelevant. No one cares about these bars, and... We will get deeper into the subject on what actually happened on that. The only thing I meant about this that was relevant is the fact that I had the odd child, the odd child, the odd child, posting on my Instagram, you're a thief. Scooter Brad said you stole bars. Scooter Brad said you did this. Scooter Brad said you did that. No, don't listen to that guy. He chats the most. Moving on. Right, I'm just going to call him that because it's the most ridiculous name for a shop anyways. So do you know do you know the screaming in the background, Brad? That was my one-year-old little brother. If you'd uh, if you like to know, because you seem quite interested about that. <laughs> you tell him, Freddie. Okay. <laughs> then why would you want snail scoots? I feel like that was a valid point. We're okay. In the first place, if that's what you if that's what you think if that's what he thinks about the the store's name, what why did it not deter you from? getting free scooter parts from them. I'm just gonna okay, this is this is where my point is that Brad knows absolutely nothing on any subject that he ever talks about. I did not have personal contact with snail scoots. My friend over in Kent, Steve, sorted me out some bars for a competition on the weekend because I had broken mine. Okay? I had no contact with them. On that case of more didn't even know the name. Yo, this store like hit me up. Oh for my <laughs> My skin is curling, you are that cringy! Oh my god! Ugh. Ugh. Come on, Leo, you can get through this clip. Ugh. What a fucking mug of a name, eh? Oh. Sent me okay. a pair of bars through Steve, who I know. What it's I been. did not have personal con- For the week, I was busy. <laughs> I was busy. Wow, and in the background, that's all I can hear. So I guess the, the contest he's talking about is dial comp. And you can see in the clips and in his photos that he's actually running Envy Titanium Bars. This is a next sport contract, uh, Fusion. Why Why are you even talking about Fusion contracts? I've ridden non-Fusion tie bars for so long. You always just try and point out any little thing you can. Stop. I'm good with Fusion. Fusion's amazing. Really, really appreciate them sending me out bars. Can't thank them enough for that. Bit late, mate. I did not have contact with them. How many times? Where it all went wrong is, they came at me in my comment section, sending kids at- No, so that's not where it all went wrong. Ah, uh, here we go. You failed to shout them out. See. Nope, I didn't fail to shout them out, which I said on my Insta story as well, but I didn't choose to put this part in. I wanted to give them a specific thank you, not just a quick story post that someone would skip through. It's a little shop, right? They've got like 400 followers. I wanted to go out of my way and give them a nice, proper shout out where they're going to get followers, where they're going to get sales, where they're going to- actually grow from me doing a shout instead of a quick tag like Brad is suggesting I do. I wanted to do it properly instead of just half assed of doing it. And in the process of me not actually posting the the thing on like on my Instagram, I just had a lot of kids coming at my I mean, coming at me in my comment section because this shop this shop had been telling their customers about it. Telling the people in the skate park about it. Which is already the most unprofessional thing you can do. Why why would you do that? person being a dick to you and being like this is why I chose not to shout out this brand I do not want to work with them etc etc I am taking the, ne the, ne the, ne the necessary steps in sending 
the product back to them. Okay, well, I've been blocked ever since I made my point to the shop. The shop came at me as well, and I explained my point to the shop, and instead of them speaking to me and wanting to be civilised, the guy was like, meh, meh, meh. and then next minute I'm blocked. So, yes, I would have sent the bars back, but I have no contact. What am I supposed to do? Case closed. Done. Yes, Dusted. very right, Brad. They had to go on. They came at me in my comment section, sending kids at me. I've heard this bit. Get I've heard nothing on the map. I was busy. Well, you were posting on Instagram with their bars. He says, warming up for at Dahl, at Fusion, at Portec. Well, what the... Yes, warming up for a competition. What, what part of... A shout out was not the first thing on my mind right then. I was gonna do it. Why does it matter if. Bro, you're not on a time schedule. How many times does this have to be said? You're not on a time schedule. Entity, prime example. Entity Pro sent me some tie bars out the other week and I was taking a little bit long to do a shout out, probably about. I think about maybe six, seven days. I dropped them a text. Do you want to see their response? There is their response. That is what a proper business is like. They, they understand that they're not just trying to sort money from you. They're, Working with you, do you know what I mean? So yeah, big shout out to Entity for, you know, being grown up. What does Port Techco have to do with it? One second. Ugh, my dog was crying. Have they even got a product that's featured in the clip because, I mean... Port Tech, I work with Port Tech. Port Tech are cool, like... What What does who I tag in my videos have to do with you, Brad? Really don't get it. Brad, Port Tech is one of our sponsors, go check them out. A quick... Thanks to Snail Scoots for these bars. Bear in mind, when I posted this, this was the first day, right, that I had seen their Instagram, and it was them coming at me in a comment section. That was the first time I had seen Snail Scoots. Just to be Literally clear. Literally, in this Instagram post. Oh, I was busy, man. They came at me in my comment section, sending kids at The comments that he's talking about, obviously, were on Scoot Review. So basically, he's... No. No. It wasn't on Scoot Review. It was on my Instagram account. Scoot reviewed himself on his story here. Ins no, I didn't Scoot review myself. I spoke on the matter, Mr. C come on, mate. Like I said, I was just busy. Like, I hadn't got around to it yet. Oh, so you... Oh, so, okay. So, you were just busy. You hadn't got around to it yet. Uh-huh. But... Like, I just... I heard nothing of What? It. I just hadn't got... What do you mean, which is it? That make they, they are both the same thing. I was busy, so I didn't get around to it. What? What? Someone explain this guy's mentality! So, like, wait, what was I supposed to be getting rats to? Because I just got heard nothing. He was commenting, Leo is the most Do you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I've addressed most of this video. I'm gonna have a quick skip, skip through it. Disrespect in the air, a little bit of animosity, bro. Oh, oh, here we go. Yes. So this is Brad talking about views and stuff like that. Obviously, you are gonna have more views than me. Bro, if I call people out every day, I'd probably get a lot of views. Bing, 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 bing. Brad, your channel is built up off of cutting down other people. Your channel is built up off of breaking down what other people have built. You, you're literally the worst. See, the thing is, I'm gonna close the laptop now because I feel like I've got my point across. I feel like I've said everything I need to say. The only reason that it makes me laugh is because at the end of the video, right, he says, I couldn't care less about what you do with the bars. Which basically means he couldn't care less about the shop. But his point of the argument was that I did the shop wrong. So which is it, Brad? Are you just trying to get another argument on YouTube? Are you just actually trying to stick up for a shop here? I'll let you decide that one. Anyways, thank you very much for watching today's video. Sorry this has been the second video back, but um, I don't know. I felt like it was just necessary. I would not have responded to it if it hadn't have used the word thief. I'm not a thief. I'm far from a thief. I'm, I'm, I'm completely not a thief, okay? And I just don't like that word. I don't like the fact that he used that word. Brad put me in videos before, never complained about him. The fact that he used the word thief got to me, okay? But anyways, thank you for watching today's video. Um, yeah. <laughs> you scoop, you bitch. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love.